Nowadays, we hear a lot about the value of data. Data analysis becomes a key skill for the job market as it can help businesses reach the right consumers and tell stories that bring more attention. This is why educators at the Pollard Middle School decided to launch an elective class, Data Science, in 2020. But it is not just about that. They also believe students need to learn how to discern inaccurate information that use manipulated data. Municipal producer Yu Xiao Yuan talked to some of the teachers to find out how data science is taught at Pollard. You, you know, we are desperate, and you are now the head coach of the Boston Celtics, and, and we're coming, you know, Steph's coming into town tomorrow. How do you use this data? Paul Daniels, who teaches data science to seventh graders at Pollard, is having a discussion with his students about how to utilize basketball player Steph Curry scores data. Daniels was a science teacher, but also worked as a restaurant manager for years. A lot of what we did when we're building menus or when we're selling stuff, trying to figure out what products to offer, what promotions to run, it's really you have to dig into historical data. What do people like? What are they spending money on? How long are they sitting at a table? I know how to look at this small piece of data and connect it to something bigger, but more importantly, how to make decisions based on data. To cultivate that kind of skill, students need to go beyond what they learned in math. They're like, oh, that's all it is. I'm going to make graphs. I'm going to look at a spreadsheet and I'm going to turn it into a graph. We're pushing students to really think critically about what they see in front of them rather than just jumping to I know how to find a mean, I know how to find a median. Knowing how to collect and sort data is just the first step. Daniels once asked his students to look at the photos in their phones and find how they spent their time. You are collecting data every day without even knowing it. It's just what do you do with it? So you can look at that and you could send a message like, oh, wow, my last 100 photos are of, you know, my dog. Or, you know, 15 of them are my dog. Tenor of my best friend, but but none of them are my family. It's like, do I? Why is that? You could you could make decisions. You could let your data influence you to think about stuff differently. What we hope that they're doing is getting really excited about data sets, so that it's not just us giving them these really dry data sets that are just from a textbook, but rather they're thinking and doing and developing um, experiments, whether it's from their engineering class or from their science class, but even experiments that we might do in a data science class that then they're developing their own visualizations from. Tammy Gazzoni, who developed the Data Science One curriculum for the seventh grade, believed this course can inspire students with a variety of interests. Because it can pull in from all different uh, curricula, so it pulls in art, it can pull in science, it can pull in social studies, uh, music and allow students to really think about um, data literacy in a way that they haven't ever done before. And the enrollment growth has shown the popularity of this two-year-old program, which jumped from 75 to 120 students and prompted the Data Science II course for the eighth grade. Sarah Burns talked about how she encouraged her eighth grade students to think critically about the data narratives that various institutions tell. Looking at journalism and other media to say, you know, is this uh, a biased point of view or is something left out? Is there something that uh, we're trying to be convinced to see? Is there another point of view that might balance this out? And then to follow up with, if we were to tell a story, how would we do that? What's the best way to convey this? Burns also invited professionals from a diverse background to her class to explain how they interpret data at work. So hearing from people in fields like um, biochemistry or a social science or um, a programmer or someone who works for a hedge fund really gave different perspectives as to how data and working with uh, data science software or specifically a data scientist moves their work forward. Another important component of the class is teamwork and presentations, which help students hone their skills in collaboration and communication. We always have them in groups, so it's not like they are working independently on anything. Can you make sense of that? Can you be somebody that not only can interpret it and understand it, but also communicate in that new, more modern language? But the teachers also pointed out it is not about rushing to equip the students with those skills. 
What they truly value is the early exposure. It's really important for students to be exposed to some of these ideas because regardless of the field that they go into in the future, data will be a part of it. Whether it's just in their everyday lives, shopping for you know, the best bank loan or understanding the news and deciding who to vote for, or if it's part of their professional job, we want to make sure that they've had that exposure and that they feel confident making good choices for themselves. We're hopefully on the forefront of getting our kids ready to engage with this new topic. The students that are undertaking it, it can be scary not knowing what you're signing up for and I'm just really proud that they're that they have the resilience and kind of the courage to take on something new and and I've just been impressed every day by them. For Dinam Channel News, I'm Yu Xiaoyuan.